Shields up, Ironbreakers. How's everybody doing? Or should I even say, hello everyone, my name's Rurikon and welcome to Jackass! <laughs> so, what's going on? You guys might be wondering, like, what's the deal with this Beluga Liner ship that you've been talking about? Because I've tweeted about it yesterday. Uh, I bought a new ship. I bought a Beluga Liner. And what I'm about to do is, is a terrible idea. It's just an atrocious idea because there is absolutely no way that this can go well. There's just no way whatsoever that doing something as dumb as this is going to go well. So before we begin, let me try and introduce the concept here for those of you that may or may not be familiar with Elite Dangerous. So the first thing is, for those of you that are familiar with Elite Dangerous, you guys might be wondering, why did you buy a Beluga Liner? Well, before the Beluga Liner, I had the Clipper. I still have the Clipper. I haven't touched my Clipper. Uh, but ultimately, I wanted to grind to get a cutter. But that grind is, in my opinion, one of the most boring aspects in Elite Dangerous, which is the naval rank grind. I've expressed this opinion uh, at length. I think out of everything that you can do in Elite Dangerous, grinding for ranks is, is just the most boring thing. And I got I got bored of it pretty quick. Uh, I got I'm I'm currently Viscount or whatever, 18% Viscount. Uh, I need to be Duke, which is like four ranks above Viscount or something like that. Basically, still a lot of grind before I can actually get the ship that I want. However, I wanted to get a new ship uh, so that I could do other things instead of just like focusing on grinding, grinding, grinding. And I figured. You know, I don't like the Anaconda. I just don't like it as a ship. I think it's an ugly ship, and I think everybody gets an Anaconda, and I've always been more of an underdog type of guy. And then I love passenger missions. And I was thinking about either the Orca or the Beluga, and then I was like, well, you know what? Let's just go big. Oh, let's go with the Beluga. So we bought the Beluga. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with Elite Dangerous, you can think of the Beluga as a giant luxury cruise ship. That's pretty much what it is. Uh, and by a cruise ship, I'm talking about, like, think an actual real-life cruise ship that goes out, takes tourists. You know, it, it's not really equipped with weapons. It's supposed to be a vessel for tourism, right? Uh, well, I, I bought one of those, and uh, I'm now going to take it to a war zone, basically. Because I figured that would be fun. Now, for those of you that want to know my internals, uh, we have... What? I have seven E thrusters? I thought I had seven A thrusters. I'm surprised. I really thought I bought the better thrusters. I guess I slacked on that. Either way, doesn't matter. We got six A shield generators. We got a bunch of shield boosters. Not that it matters because the shield on this ship is garbage. Complete garbage. Have a seven A sh uh, frame shift drive, life support. Also doesn't matter. Power distributor, best you can get. Our weapon. <laughs> Our weapons. <laughs> Five medium turreted pulse lasers. Those are our weapons. Then we have a 5D on sensor. We have a fighter hanger. Of course, we have to. But there's something very cool about the fighter hanger. I'll, I'll tell you what, what, what you guys what in a minute. Uh, then we have a point defense, which is probably not going to do anything. A chaff launcher, which is probably not going to do anything either. Uh, and we have a bunch of module reinforcement packages. Uh, interesting, it only says one, but I actually have a ton of them. Um, and then we also have a couple of module reinforcement packs as well. Wait, these are module reinforcements? Where are my hull reinforcement packages? I guess they don't show here. Okay, well, we also have a bunch of hull reinforcement packages. It's basically filled up to the brim with hull reinforcement packages. Now again, I'm just really surprised about the thrusters. I thought I bought them. I was wondering why I felt like the ship was act had actually been pretty cheap. And, um, yeah, we're going to grab this cruise ship. We're going to enter this resource extraction side high. So there will be police here. Not, po I mean, police per se. It's like security forces and whatnot. Because I'm not going to put a beluga liner on a friggin' hazard resource site. That's complete suicide. But we are going to fight. Now, the interesting thing I was telling you guys about the fighters is that... How do I see my crew? The crew that we have is Lyra White. She's pretty good looking, but she's harmless. 
So she's, she's like the crappiest kind of pilot you can have. So my idea is to actually build her up uh, so that eventually when I'm doing missions, her commission is not going to be as, go as, as good as the other ones. But I think this is a terrible idea, but at the same time, I also don't care. So we're going to go in with a harmless fighter pilot. We're going to get her to shoot at things, and we are going to shoot at things. And probably not going to deal any damage, but we're still going to do it. Because it's a challenge, and it needs to happen. The Beluga Liner, the Killer Whale. Also, it has been named in honor of, um, of Paven B. You guys can see the beautiful name that we gave him, our Beluga Liner. The massive side boob. What's the buyback on that thing? Right now, it is about 8 million. It's 7.6. 7.6. It is going to be a lot higher once I upgrade the thrusters, which I actually thought I had already done. Surprise, because usually thrusters is one of the first things I purchased. I must have been near half asleep last night. So this sounds like a police ship. Let's have a look here. What we got? Cobra Mark IV, Competent Shield of Justice, another police ship. <clears throat> and another police ship. Seriously? Three police ships? Can I get a single enemy up in this resource site, or am I going to have to ditch it? Cobra Mark III. There we go. There we go. This is our first victim. Oh, no. He's clean. Also, I should deploy. Uh, what am I going to deploy her with? I'm thinking fixed pulse. Yeah, go fixed pulse. Deploy Lyra White. So we get our fighter ready. Ooh, we got a couple of pythons here. I will engage a python. I don't give a damn. Shoot, she's in a wing, and it's probably two pythons. Am I right? A wing of two pythons. Now, this seems reasonable. You know what I'm saying? It seems perfectly reasonable. A wing of two pythons. I say I ram one of those pythons. Because why the hell not? I mean, our thrusters kind of suck, but we're going to do it. Here we go. I really want to ram it, like, not from front. They're scanning me, but they're not going to try to attack me because I have nothing. I don't have anything on my ship. That's it. Now they're going to leave. I'm not going to be able to catch up to them, am I? Yes, I am. There we go. Come here, a little python. Arrgh. Bonk! Fire everything! You're running away? Oh, look at my lasers! They're so fearsome! Police is coming in to help me out. We're gonna take on this python. Me and the cops. Get him! Oh crap, he's got rocket launchers. Jesus, even with all of these whole reinforcements. This was a terrible idea. Yeah, get him, pulse lasers. Oh my god. This was not a good idea. I'm not sure I'm going to survive this. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to have to actually 
hyperspace out of here at this rate. There we go. We got our shields back up. Is my fighter still online? I don't even know if my fighter's online. Roger that, Commander. Oh, there is my fighter. We gotta get out of here. Run away! Oh, our chaff is damaged, so I can't even chaff my way out of here. What is my fighter even doing? Is it even achieving anything? Oh my god. It's okay. We're still alive. Jesus, they're firing missiles at me. Okay, now let's bring her about. Dude, if two pythons can deal this kind of wreckage. We definitely need better thrusters, though. can't believe I came in here with these crappy-ass thrusters. Thing. Oh crap, no, not my canopy. God damn it, harmless fighter. What am I paying you for? No! Oh my god. No! Jeez, there's missiles all over the place. Attack him! Kill him, fighter! Did I even gain anything for that? Okay, I think my fighter is engaging on it. At least it should. <laughs> come on, come on. Yeah, I'm still moving in to attack because I'm an idiot. It's probably going to crack my canopy. We're going to have to go fix our ship as soon as we're done with these two pythons. What do you guys think? You guys think we should ram him? I think we should ram him. I think this is a solid plan. Get him! Dude, if he fires anything kinetic, he's gonna bust my shit. So we wanna leave before he does that. Because we don't wanna lose our shields at all. He's still firing on me. Dude, my fighter is doing like nothing. How 
about... Let's swap positions. This is a terrible idea, but I kind of want to do it. Can I deploy myself on another fighter? That would be so good. Unfortunately, we can't, so... You, why don't you give me the fighter? This is probably a bad idea. What in the fuck? Orders. Crap. Let's just hope he doesn't fire the- Oh, wow, he's actually attacking me, okay. Dude, you can't even begin! Can't even begin to imagine the amount of punishment I'm about to wreak on you! Trying to catch up to me. <laughs> nah, dude, not with the most agile ship in the game. Whoa! Okay, maybe you will do that very well. <laughs> it's all good. Oh crap. It's not a problem. Uh, we should have another fighter. I'm gonna just deploy myself in this in this other fighter. This is gonna be great, you guys. Don't you worry about a thing. Booyah! <laughs> I just love flying fighters, though. Oh, dude, you like beams? Because I love beams. I'm going to write my name all over your ship. You stay the frack away from my ship, you bastard. Whoa! <laughs> oh, crap. He's attacking my mothership. Crap, I don't like seeing it with such low shields. Get me in there. That's what I'm talking about. I think whenever I do combat, I'm actually just going to go out in the fighter myself and just have her support me. Like right here, check this guy out. Oh, he's left. He didn't even want nothing to do with this. Oh, okay, let's swap it up. This was a terrible idea, but it felt great. <laughs> Beluga liner, man. Can't mess with that beluga liner. Then again, it's like, it's it's not enough what we did to be on a beluga liner doing this crazy shenanigans. We went up against two pythons. That was like my genius idea. It's just like, just go up against two pythons. It's whatever. Take the first shot too, so that they can instantly break us down. And they had friggin' missiles. Missiles, which deal massive hull damage. I, want, I was thinking about buying the, um, the military-grade composite for my hull, but I saw the price tag on it and I was like, nah, you know what, never mind. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Now, before we continue, we need to go ahead and do some repairs, so I'm going to head back to base. This is actually part of a community goal, what I'm trying to do here. Uh, this morning, I was actually fighting there. Uh, for quite some time, and I think I had accrued like five million, and then I broke my ship. Fighting against a, uh, and th this was with a, a different ship, mind you, but like, I broke my ship fighting against a friggin' 
Whoops. Forgot about that. Uh... Recall fighter. I was actually flying my courier, and I was doing real well. And then against the friggin' Cobra, it was a was it a Cobra or a Viper Mark IV? It was just beating the crap out of me. Like I'm talking, we were fighting Anacondas, we're fighting all kinds of ships. Then this friggin' Viper Mark IV broke my canopy, and there was no station to repair it on this system. It was atrocious. I couldn't believe there wasn't a station to repair the damn thing on the system. Is the fighter coming in? Should have come in by now. Let's go then. I gotta clear these um, these rings before I before I hyperspace out of here. That was not a bad first experience for our beluga. Let's hope we can get like different ships next time. And not just have to deal with two pythons from the get-go. I would actually like to fight, like, one python. That would be good. Now, you also have to remember that not a single part in this ship has been uh, engineered yet. Because, like, I'd like to have rapid fire on those pulse lasers. And, you know, a couple of more, a couple of more things uh, to try and improve it a little bit more. Because it's like it's not like I'm going to be doing a lot of combat with it. Of course, I'm doing this stream doing combat with it just because I figured it'd be funny. But ultimately, I want to be able to take my passengers and still be able to defend myself, which is why obviously we have the fighter babe. But yeah, I don't dislike the beluga. Like I know that people are like, "Oh man, beluga's terrible and whatnot." I don't dislike it. Now, my main concern is how much luxury missions are going to pay off because that is what I'm trying to bank on. We shall see if that pays off or not. Still have to visit my good buddy Leon Rui to get uh, some new new thrusters. I don't know why I got the 7E thrusters. I'm really surprised. I thought I had bought the 7A. I wonder if this could be wrong, but I don't think so. Jesus. They broke two of our shield boosters. They were targeting our shield boosters. They're also targeting our chaff launcher. These guys were not messing around. Power plant is pretty safe, though. I'm gonna turn in those two things just to get a little bit of recognition in the current community goal. And we overshot it. Whee! And every time you overshoot something with this ship, that is a bit of a pain. But she can actually move a lot better than you guys might think. Like, this ship actually moves. Especially considering that I'm saying that after finding out that I'm still running the stock thrusters. Like, you guys want to see your Tokyo Drift? Because I can give you guys the Tokyo Drift on the Beluga. Although we're probably not going to be needing it. As they should. We just came from combat, and it was great. We had a good old time. Interesting that the canopy is no longer cracked.
Boink. Space Trochio Drift is too easy to do. It is, it is. Docking procedure complete. Alight when ready. Our facilities are at your Jesus Christ, almost 80,000 in repairs? It's crazy talk. Uh, I'm assuming I'm also going to pay a bunch for the paint job. Ship integrity. I don't even know why I repair the paint job. We're going to get shot at. Because I'm going to go back out there. Uh, I do want to hand these in, though. Just out of curiosity to see if these count for the stuff they should. Wow, we actually have fines? The two pythons we took out? Not sure how much of that is going to count. The other cool thing, though, is that um, I thought the reserved spots, both on the Beluga and the Orca, I thought those reserved spots were actually um, reserved for passenger cabins, but no. You, those are reserved for passenger cabins, cargo racks, or uh, reinforcement modules, which is pretty much what we did for this. It's just like... Stock, stocked her up with reinforcement modules all over the place. Also, I gotta make sure that my crew is active as soon as I set my course. So we're going to Lambayek. Lambayek. And I gotta make sure that I do... She's active. I gotta make sure that I scan the nav beacon on Lambayek. Because I wanna make sure that I find if there's a space station there. Or maybe even an outpost on a planet that I can land on for repairs. Because I r it really sucked this morning losing the massive bounty I had accrued in my courier. And the worst part is that, like... I didn't even run out of oxygen before landing. I just landed on a station that didn't have repair functionality. And I was like, what? How can you, you son of a bitch. Like they didn't even give me oxygen. They're just like, yeah, you're fucked. You're gonna die. I was in the space station. They were just looking at me. Ha, look at that guy, he's dead. He's fucking dead. <laughs> that was the worst. And I was like, no, but I have like three million. Like I could have handed in, but I was, I was greedy. That's that's when things went even more sour is I got fracking greedy. And as I got greedy, I was like, no, I'm sure I can find some place to land that can repair that I can then take the thing for the community goal. And no, I didn't. And I died. Let's see about this nav beacon. The beluga, the massive side boob. Nobody expects the massive side boob. Gotta be honest, I expected my thrust on a python to deal a bit more damage. But again, we're not really able to muster as much speed as I would like to. That's my next step. Gotta put our thrusters in 7A. I think the reason I didn't buy them is because 7A thrusters cost like... 43 million or something? And yeah, after all the money I spent on it, spending another 43 on thrusters just didn't seem that reasonable. But I have to do it, because I can't fly a ship that doesn't have good thrusters. I'm obsessed with thrusters. Speed! Field need! The need for speed. Engage. Okay, here we go. So there is the rest beacon. That might have been my saving grace. Either way, 
Resource extraction site. Let's go. We're going back in there because I'm crazy. I don't give a damn. I'm going to go back in there, deploy our fighters, and engage our targets. Our fighter needs so much practice. Surprised she survived as long as she did. I'm gonna get I'm gonna put her on the beam fighter now. Maybe she'll do better on the beam fighter. Test that out. Was I able to restock fighters by the way? I think I was, yeah, I was. Also, by the way, for those of you that aren't aware, there's a multitude of fighters that you can put on a fighter hanger, because like the very first time I did fighters on my keelback, I wasn't aware of this. And this right here, the GU-97, is the Imperial Fighter. And last time I checked, uh, it said it was the most agile ship in the game. So pretty much, like, not the fastest ship, the most agile ship. So this baby can move. This baby can move like nobody's business. I should really consider putting two uh, cannons on this ship, but if I do that, it's going to require engineering, so I should probably get two multi-cannons, but I don't know exactly where I'm going to put it. Probably on the bottom section. Should I put the multi-cannons on the bottom? Probably should, because like the, the hard point placement on the Beluga is also pretty bad, which is to be expected. I mean, again, got to remind yourselves, this is a pleasure cruise type ship most definitely not a combat ship so the hard point placement is expected to be bad it's mostly hard points on this ship is to buy you time so that you can get away maybe i should just fill her up with rockets maybe that's a thing or cannons maybe i can put the cannons i liked so much on here that could be interesting Shoot a bunch of cannons off of it. Pew pew pew! With explosions. Explosive rounds. Cannons. We're going a little bit too fast there, Skipper. A little bit too fast. Coming in too hot. But we're good. Zoosh! Here we are. Alrighty, let's look at our contacts. No contacts in range. Asp Scout. Probably take out an Asp Scout. First of all, let's deploy. We're going to deploy her on the fixed beams. Let's hope she Fire does better with that one. I've got the mothership, Commander. All clear, Commander. Put me in the thick of it. Put you in the thick of it, you'd probably get yourself killed, so just chill. Ooh, a courier. Shield of Justice. So that's from the police force. Imperial Eagle. <clears throat> Shield of Justice. Another Imperial Courier. Shield of Justice. Lots and lots of police. The Popo. Is there anything we haven't scanned here yet? It's not looking good. Not a single hostile ship so far. Might have to reset this extraction site. Cobra Mark IV. Take a look. Oh, there's people fighting there. Ooh, a further lance. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Engage. Roger that, Commander. Fire at will. Engaging enemy. 
Take a look at some of these ASP scouts we got. Oh, this is a mining vessel. Probably on a wing. Got this Viper Mark III. Andrew Fragdia Brown? Fragdia Brown! Ooh, okay, he's on a wing with an eagle and what else and whatever that is and another eagle engage Roger that commander moving to engage Oh my god. Why are there two wings engaging on me? Mayday commander, taking fire. Internal security service? What the fuck? I'm wanted. Shit. Fuck the fighter. I'm out of here. Why am I wanted? Did my fighter mistakenly attack someone? Oh my god. You're such a bad fucking pilot. You're just a terrible pilot. And now, I can't even, like, how long am I going to be wanted for in here? It's the bounty, that's it. No, wait. Uh... Crap, we're just wanted on this system, there you go. We completely screwed everything up. <laughs> so the only place we can go to to make money now would be a, ra a hazardous resource site. Because <laughs> otherwise we're going to get attacked by the police and we're going to get smoked like a fine cigar. I didn't hit a cop by accident. The fighter hit a cop by accident. I can't believe that the friggin NPC, I mean, I know she's harmless, but still my friggin NPC hit a cop by accident. Like what the actual fuck? What am I supposed to say to that? Good job. What's her name again? Good fucking job, Lyra. Good job hitting the cops. Now, I'm going to have to find another system that I can do bounties on because we're going to be hunted in this one. That friggin' sucks. Aura Tech, Avenue Luval, 5 million. Would I be able to do bounties here? No. Wait, I'm wanted in Convision as well? well? This is great. Looks like I'm wanted in a whole lot of places. Also, I went to Hizaka, not Sound Attack. Sound Attack is here. Let me guess. Yep, I'm wanted on this entire system. Well, that pretty much limits our options to hazard resource extraction sites. So that's what we're going to do. No cops. Oh, well, the hell with it. Who cares? Am I right? Hazardous resource extraction site. Let's go. I, I don't think you can pay if you're wanted. At least I've tried doing that. Maybe the stations where I tried doing that, you couldn't, uh... 
I should be able to pay my wanted bounty. I don't think you can. I don't think that's the way it works. It says here that I'm, I should only be wanted for like five minutes then. Unless it's this one. Frackin' Lyra White, dude. Friggin' space cops also need to like check where they're flying to. Check yourself before you riggity riggity wreck yourself. Never had these problems with expert pilots. Also, did she level up at all? She's at 11%. She's getting there. It'd be great to just have a hazardous extraction site with very small ships. That'd be great. I attacked the eagle before I saw that it was wanted? Yeah, that's possible. Sometimes I do that shit. Ooh! Ah! Oh, that hurts. Oh, crap. Came in a little bit too fast. Watch me get into this extraction site and it just be filled with anacondas. That'd be awesome. Friggin' anacondas, dude. Seriously? Oh, for frack's sake. I was going to crash into it before I, I'd be able to point to it. Don't crash into it, don't crash into it, don't crash into it, don't crash into it, don't crash into it! Yeah, right there. Here we are, hazardous resource extraction site. Low heat signatures should be small ships. Roger that. I'll take care of the mothership, Commander. The hell's a Shield of Justice ship doing here? Fighter is clear of the mothership. Oh, snap. See, this would be an interesting fight. A federal dropship? I think I could take that on. Let's find out. You cannot stand my superior firepower of the Beluga Liner! 
fall before my might. <laughs> oh, he's shooting cannons at me? Wow, your loadout fucking sucks. You can't even hit a beluga liner with those goddamn cannons, bro. Pew pew sound. Pew 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 pew. <laughs> oh my god. Fall before the might of the Beluga Liner. Nobody expects the Beluga Liner. That's right. That's right. We're still wanted, though. Oh, on hyperspace jump? Oh, so if I leave the system and come back, I will lose this. Well, that works for me. That works for me. Let's go. Wait a second. Recall fighter. Oops. Not what I meant to do. Mind. Well, I'm probably faster at doing the thing anyway, so let's just dock it in there. Fighter retrieval sequence ready, Commander. Oh, she was right there. Uh, Lightning Blaze 100, it matters. Even if the ship is wanted, if you attack before uh, the scan is over, it's like you become wanted. So we'll have to jump out of this system, so we might as well jump onto the next system. And the wanted status it should clear up. Let's just jump here real quick. Ship's getting a little hot. Just a little bit hot. <laughs> and now we jump back to the system we were in. And I'm assuming we won't be wanted there anymore. Am I right? What was the name of the system? Lambayik. Lambayik. Please tell me we're not in range of the sun. We're not. Wee. Eighty-three percent hull. No problem. Eighty-three hull is better than eighty-two hull. Who needs Hall? Hall is very, very, very overrated. Definitely putting the Beluga through its paces. I 
I'm surprised you can actually do so much with pulse lasers. I mean, we were actually dealing some damage on that federal dropship. That was pretty much a one-on-one -on -one encounter. And I wasn't expecting that. It was probably a really shitty... It was probably a really shitty ship, but still. You know, you're like... The frack. Sitting here with a goddamn... Beluga liner shooting at a federal dropship and winning. Like, it's... It's not a very normal thing. Dude, but once our crew gets better, though... That'd be the shiznit. He's at 14%. I want to grind her up. I want to get a real good. Problem is if we die, we lose all that experience. I really hope that eventually they'll change that. Make make pilots a little bit more permanent. As a matter of fact, I'd like to have the pilot like sit next to me on the cockpit. At least have the option to do that. That'd be cool so that you wouldn't feel as lonely all the time. You know like by the way, is there any cockpit that is like bigger than the Beluga liner's cockpit? Like look at this shit. Look at this cockpit. God damn. Fucking thing's huge. It's a fancy looking cockpit too. Here we go again, people. Diving into the wolves then. Today's cruise includes some delightful views. Our flight attendants are on hand with full detail. Or in my case, today's cruise includes some bloody combat. We're going to be destroying ships and we're going to be scraping them out of our bulkheads. That's what's going to happen. Nobody expects the punishment of the Beluga Liner. On a more serious note, though, I would really like to see the devs change the way naval rank works. It's like I mentioned at the start of this stream, the only reason I'm doing this is because I find naval rank grind far too tedious and burnout inducing to actually do. And I think it'd be more interesting if like naval rank grind was like an epic quest, like they would actually give you hard quests to do. Like you, you would say that like the three cornerstones, and I've said the word like so many damn times, but you would say that the three cornerstones of uh, Elite Dangerous are combat, exploration, and trading, right? Uh, potentially now with passenger missions, like, let's just throw passenger missions in the mix with trading as well. Because it's one of the things that I, I personally like doing a lot, is passenger missions. So, if those are the three cornerstones of Elite, those, you would, you, you would consider those could be three services that you could perform for the, um for the three factions in the game. That would be the Alliance, the Empire, and the Federation. And instead of you doing boring things like boom data deliveries, which is, let's face it, it's what everybody does when they're trying to do rep grind. Everybody grabs a bunch of boom data delivery missions, they fly them out to isolated systems, uh, turn them in, then grab boom data delivery missions that go back to the system they came from, and repeat ad nauseum, right? So what about if instead of doing that, you would have like a really hard quest that you would do, but it would give you like the equivalent experience of like 20 boom data delivery missions. Not experience, uh, the equivalent rep of 20 boom data delivery experience. So instead of you doing a bunch of crappy missions, like a lot of them, you would do one mission that was far more complex. Like for instance, if you're an explorer, Travel 5,000 light years, or maybe 5,000 is a little bit too much, but like travel 2,000 light years or something. Go to this place 2,000 light years away, boom, bunch of rep. Or if you're a combat veteran, just like uh, intercept this particular target and it would be like a wing of three other dudes and you would have to take a really good fighter ship and get in there and beat uh, that particular combat encounter, get a buttload of rep. Or if you're a trader, like haul in, I don't know, 500 ton, no, 2,000 tons of a certain good from one station to another. Uh, or carry a certain amount of passengers. Just like something that would be one big mission instead of like a hundred small missions, you know? And I think that would make a lot more sense. And it would also be a lot more fun. Roger that. I'll take care of the 
God damn those rockets. Dude, this Adler is not joking around with those rockets. Dude, she is so bad with those beams. Come on, Lyra, I know you can do better than that. Enemy destroyed, Commander. No more contact. A friggin' Ather took out my shields. <laughs> this ship is less than paper thin. Oh my god, there's another Ather. I'm scared now. And he's in a wing with what? What's that? An Asp Explorer. I hate Asp Explorers. Here, little Asp. Dude, I'm gonna ram that Asp like nobody's business. Or not. Tell me they don't have missiles. I'm hit. I'm hit. Hull integrity, fifty percent, Commander. Fire down, Commander. Don't worry about it. This is why we have two fighters. Roger that. I'll take care of the mothership, Commander. Fighter is clear of the mothership. So much firepower on this poor little Asp Explorer. I hate you, Asp Explorer, and I wish you a long, painful death. The reason I hate the Asp Explorer is because, in my opinion, that ship is too good. It's too good. No ship should be allowed to be that good at everything. Where's the Ather? I know the Ather was his little buddy. Oh, you just left your buddy to die, didn't you? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Someone firing rockets at it? A poor little Adder. And it's gone. That's gotta hurt. Target down. Now one of my objectives with doing this stuff, beyond contributing a little bit to the community goal and whatnot, is also to develop the um the fighter pilot. Because you can level them up. It just takes a while. And you have to be careful not to get yourself killed in the process. 
As a matter of fact, let's swap. I'm tired of being in the mothership. Swap me, baby. Why don't you deal with the mothership for a while? Okay, where's the target that I was looking at? There you are. Oh crap, I got the pulse laser ship? It's bad. It's hard to aim with this thing. And he's gone. Destroyed, Commander. That's the last of them, Commander. Take a look at our contacts here. Ask Scout. A mining vessel? It's probably a mining vessel that's just sitting there. Yep. Whoa! The hell is she doing? Oh, she's flying formation with me. Not gonna lie, that's pretty cool. I very rarely hand over the helm to, uh, the pilot NPCs, but it's nice to see them try to fly formation. You can't really keep up with it, though. <laughs> like, if I look off to the side, she's always going to position herself there. That's cool. Okay, uh, let's head back. Where's the resource spot? That kind of, oh! Fighting going on. Let's go. Diamondback Explorer. Oh, you didn't like that, did you? It's all good, though. Don't you worry about it. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, dude, I heard something break. gotta be like that <laughs> why you just gotta be like that I was having so much fun in my little fighter fighter assembly initiated, fighter assembly initiated. now you're dead look at your bulkhead spread all over uh, let's deploy another fighter we have like 16 fighters that we can deploy. <laughs> can afford to be here until the end of times. I've got the mothership commander. Type 7. Telepresence online. Awaiting your orders. 
type six. A bunch of transport ships. Imperial Eagle, 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 who's Zilla? Type seven. Well. Let's move a little bit closer to the resource extraction side, see if a couple more ships spawn. Oh, there's combat going on over there. Dude, by the time we get there, it'll be over. It looks like it is over. Well, that sucked. Let's go a little bit closer to the resource extraction point, check out contacts. Doesn't look like we got a lot more contacts here. But yeah, I guess that's the Beluga in combat. Clearly not impressive, I would clearly not recommend it, but it's still a whole lot of fun to just come in here with a very unconventional way of doing things. Now let me just switch to the fighter because I'm faster at docking it than she is. You can rely on me. Okay, well in that case, allow me to dock, please. Ship is prepped for the fighter, Commander. Ready when you are. I love the fighter's mechanic, though. It's just a whole lot of fun. And I'm glad that I finally have another ship that allows me to fool around with this, even if it is a ship that is not particularly good for combat. Well, let's get out of here. And I want to show you guys the actual... Uh, setup that I have planned for this ship because obviously I didn't get this ship to do combat, right? Let me show you guys what we're working with here uh, Let's go to Sajan market. The reason I'm in Sajan market right now is because this is the place Where you have the current community goals going on Also, let me check out there we get some of these We did, we're in the top 75, so we're gonna get a couple, a little bit of money there. Dude, I could be like on the top 25% if I had turned in my, uh, if I had turned in my, my friggin' 3 million that I made this morning and then lost, because I was greedy. There we go. All the way up until engineering. Into Sajan Market we go. To show you guys my actual objective for this ship, which is obviously going to be passenger missions. I just want to show you guys the particular layout that I chose to go with. Although I really should try and visit uh, a Leong Rui joint with some thrusters. Just keep bring, I'm just going to keep bringing up thrusters. Thrusters is a problem. The ship's going to move so nice when we put 7A thrusters on her. It's going to be insane. You know, it would be great 7A performance enhanced thrusters, but unfortunately those only come in size, of, in size 3. Dude, performance enhanced thrusters are so good. Makes me so happy whenever I'm flying my courier. My courier is a downright beast, by the way. 
It's got like the most powerful cannon, uh, multi-cannon I've ever seen. Which has like max damage and corrosive. It's a beast of a cannon. It's better than the ca multi cannons that I have on my clipper, to be completely honest, but the clipper multi cannons are turrets. So. God damn it. I miss a lot with this ship. Let's try and align ourselves a little bit more with the mail slot. Actually, no. Let's go like this so that we can do the Tokyo Drift. Who's ready for the Tokyo Drift? Tokyo Drift. And now I'm gonna go left. Now I'm gonna line her up. That drift, though. <laughs> she can move. Like, this is 7E. And you saw how fast we positioned ourselves in the mail slot. She's surprisingly maneuverable. For a ship this big? Like a glove? Turn a couple more of these in. Looks like 400k. We're not doing too bad. We're not doing too great either. Uh, either way, let's go into outfitting. So that I can show you guys the intended design for this ship. Okay, so in terms of hard points, this is the intended design. It's five pulse lasers because she's never really going to be dealing that much damage, regardless of what you put here. Uh, potentially, I could see myself putting two cannons on it. If I do put two cannons on it, it'll probably be on top uh, because, I don't know, I guess it would make it easier for me to shoot at the target if the guns are on top. And so the bottom would be still three pulse lasers, probably with rapid fire. So it's either going to be... Five pulse lasers with rapid fire, or three pulse lasers with rapid fire followed with two multi-cannons. That is the loadout. And you guys are like, why are we even talking about weapons on a beluga liner? It's it's a me thing. It's just the way that I like to play the game. I don't like to fly weapons. Uh, I don't like to fly ships that do not have weapons. Like, even my Diamondback Explorer, which is, you know, it's just built for jumping, still has three beam lasers. So every ship that I fly has weapons on it. It's also the reason why I never bought a dolphin because the weapons on a dolphin can't do anything. I'm not saying that these weapons are going to make a massive difference, but I just like the idea that they're there. So again, for now, it's five pulse lasers. Maybe in the future, if I want to take it more seriously, I might put two uh, multi-cannons on there. Not entirely sure. Utility mounts, we got a point defense and a chaff launcher. And then just shield boosters all the way. Not that it matters that much, because the shield on this ship is complete trash, but I don't really have anything else that I want to put on here. What am I going to do? Put more shaft launchers? Eh. I don't think, that I don't think it makes that much of a difference. Uh, core internals. 
We got the 6A power plant. Again, the thrusters. I was mistaken. Need to go get those fixed. 7A frame shift drive. 8D because of weight. Life support, as we all know, is not particularly useful. Uh, 5D sensors, again, for weight. We got the maximum fuel tank. I'm not going to touch that because we do not have a fuel scoop. Uh, I've been told that this ship can jump about 300 light years without a um, without scooping. Therefore, I'm mostly going to have her in the bubble. So I should be fine on fuel. I just have to refuel whenever I get to space stations. Then on the internals, we have uh, a shield generator, a fighter hangar. These are to stay. I want to have the fighter hangar so that if I'm taking passengers and someone attacks me, or maybe a passenger's like, oh, there's a ship after me. We might have to kill it. Then I can still fight back because I'll have the fighters. Uh, obviously, we're not going to do hull reinforcements. As a matter of fact, I'm going to remove these because I, I don't plan on fighting that much anymore. And even with hull reinforcements, this thing was atrocious. Let's actually transfer in the thing that we have, which is luxury cabins. Luxury cabins cap out at six. So some of you guys were like, how come this ship doesn't have a seven sized compartment? That's because cabins cap out at six. Uh, cargo rack. Well, that's right. These guys don't have luxury cabins here. So we have two uh, 6B luxury ships. This is 16 passengers. And then I have two more uh, luxury ships on five. Let's transfer this stuff over. And then we still have a bunch of hull reinforcements that I have to sell. These were actually pretty useless. Ship is paper thin, doesn't matter what you do to it. I mean, I guess if you would have like a military grade composite, that thing costs like 76 million. So it's not particularly useful. Uh, we keep the advanced discovery scanner because as I jump through systems, I always like to have one of those. I don't think I have my cases here. Nope. So I also like having this in case I ever want to mess around. Whoops. In case I ever want to mess around in planets and whatnot. I always like having the option of playing around with this. And then everything else is uh, cargo racks. So even though I don't have them here, I should buy them. And this is because sometimes passengers also require you to buy stuff. Or maybe it's required for you to take on a mission to be able to carry certain things. But obviously this is a ship that is intended to do passenger runs. So... I just have it kitted out as a multi-purpose that can somehow do a little bit of combat while still carrying a bunch of passengers, luxury style. So we have 8 plus 16, we have 24 luxury seats on this ship. So there you go. That is the intended layout of this ship. Now, uh, I'm probably going to call the stream here today. We did some combat on the Beluga Liner. It was a lot of fun. We almost got ourselves killed quite a few times. And we also fly the fighters, which are the most agile ship uh, available in the game right now. The fighters that I'm using. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm happy that I have this ship as my big ship until I eventually do the cutter. It's just, again, I really wish they would change the way naval rank grinding works right now. Because I find that to be boring as hell. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this stream slash video. If you did, hit that like button because it helps out a lot. If you're watching this later down the line as a VOD, comments and feedback are always, always welcome. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. If you're new here, make sure to hit that sub button so that you're always notified when there's a new video or a new live stream in this channel. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you the next one.